Welcome or welcome back. So whenever I started with uh, another video that I had no plans for, um, I uh, thought maybe I would just go onto Pinterest and I would sketch. I was gonna just try to be basic and not get too detailed, but I did get bogged down a couple times. I wanted to do just something quick. I put on a timer for 15 minutes, just was gonna fill the page. So the 15 minutes included my scrolling time as I was searching for things. Um, just kind of seeing what caught my eye. And then afterwards, I was turning off the screen and just drawing over the top of it, seeing what I saw or wanted to make, and doing that. So some of them are better than others. And I didn't have my paper propped up and I also didn't set it down to fix my proportions like I'd been trying to do. So some stuff's gonna be wonky here and there. Uh, you know, that's just the reality of it, but that's okay. This one right now that I'm drawing was actually a little mannequin figure that I saw and it had some interesting kind of short chubby proportions with a very small head <laughs> and I thought that was interesting so I wanted to try to draw that. All in all I think um, that one ended up a little stiff so that's okay it had been a while. Um, originally I was just gonna do faces, like I thought I would just try to caricature some faces and break them down into simple shapes, but there was a couple things that I saw that I liked and kept me from doing that, which I think is fine because I do think that portraits can be really boring, especially for the amount of time that I knew I was probably gonna end up spending on this, because I was actually gonna put a timer on again and only spend a couple minutes on each one of these. And I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, so I just ended up spending whatever time. And I kept getting distracted because I was... Well, I recently got a phone, which I didn't want to get, but I had to because my iPod is not updating anymore, and they're not going to make any more of those, so yeah, I had to get a phone. And then there was the sale, so I got one on sale. And anyway, my sister was looking at things while she was in town, and I was converse, conversing back and forth with her about it, so that's that. So that was me getting distracted, and it had just come in today, so I was messing around with it a little bit. <laughs> Nothing like getting new tech, I'm telling you. But I was trying really hard to just keep these simple doodles and not get too detailed. And some of them I was even um, just looking away from them and drawing from what I remember to the shapes or some simplified version. I still don't think I was, you know, in the tip top of the caricaturing <laughs> thing. So it's kind of a shame because I, I like doing practices like this. I usually do them in pen and caricature as heavily as I can just by looking at a picture and then just drawing it. Um, not while looking at it, but just looking at it, turning it off, and then drawing it from memory and seeing what it comes out like. And sometimes it can make some cool things because your memory of the drawing is going to be weird and- or sorry, of the picture is going to be weird. So I really like that and I like some of the results that you can get, um, especially when you just you know, messing around. This whole time I, well, for some of it I had music on. I probably should have just left the music on because it helps me focus, but I didn't, I didn't keep up with the music. I think I ended up turning on a video or something and letting it play. You can't see it because for a while it's to the side and then eventually, you know, at the top of the page, but for the 15 minutes it was music. And this one I think was the last one and I had no time, my timer went off. You'll hear it when it does. So yeah, then I take my pencil and I go to define. I think I took this one a little too literally, but I did add a little too much detail to the sketch. I didn't do the orb eyes and stuff like that. I have done just the skeletal versions before, the very simple skeletal versions of the face and body so that I'm not you know, paying too much attention to the anatomy. And sometimes very, very, very simple shapes, and I try to be fast. 
then when I go over the top of it, it ends up being more interesting and weird and definitely its own thing. And I don't usually stick so much to the gestures that I see, but I did do that, I think, a little too much on this one. But that's okay, I'm still out of practice, so... Yeah, hopefully this one will be okay. And then again, I was once more viewing this at an angle that is not optimal for me. Which is okay. <laughs> As always, I have to add piercings. I don't know why. I guess uh, just something left over from when I was a kid. I always really liked them. Yeah, I just went a little too literal with this one. It just doesn't have a lot of interest to it, and I did kind of try near the end when I realized what I had done. <laughs> like, man, there's so many cool things you could have actually done to this face, and you did it. But it's okay. It is okay. It was nice to draw anyway. Took me a little while to actually just sit down and do it. I think I was just worried because I didn't have an exact plan. And then my sister had given me um, a few ideas, like saying I could, you know, I was going to draw our, th our three uh, comic characters. But I didn't. Um, she said I could do, you know, like a watercolor mini comic thing. And I did want to do that, but I was going to take way too much planning and prep, and I wasn't going to have the time to do it. Not today, anyways, so. I just had to put that on the back burner, which kind of blows, but it's fine. This was the idea that I ended up coming up with last minute. I was actually just putting apps on that phone and saw my Pinterest and I saw a really interestingly shaped face and it was the one I wanted to draw and it refreshed whenever I went back on it and I was prepared so I kind of lost that one and I wasn't timing myself at the time so I did I didn't want to use it I should have just saved it but I didn't because I was just rando scrolling I wasn't actually looking through any of my boards I think I've drawn almost every pose that's on the board that I have and I didn't want to redraw because I had to be in the right mood to do that because I have a decent memory for poses and I'll just remember them really well and they won't seem as interesting. <laughs> I love drawing characters like this that look like they would get themselves and you in trouble if you so much as stepped in their direction. It's hilarious. I think I was always into characters like that in books and things too. And I really like doing... Um, I really like doing hair. <laughs> I actually did not like it when I was younger. I thought it was really difficult. And now it feels like I barely think about it. This one, um, in the picture, I think the person was wearing really heavy eye makeup. And I liked, I liked that look and they had very sharp eyes. But then whenever I went to this picture, I was like, do I want to do the same thing? Or do I want to do something different? I kind of wish I would have gone to this like default I have sometimes where I give people diamond shaped eyes. I had a character that had diamond shaped eyes that was very stylized. And I think I drew them one of my first within one of my first couple Inktobers. And they are a character that uh, I actually wrote stories about. They had striped pajamas, because I've always been into drawing characters with stripes. And I really like 
the microbangs on certain people, so I decided to give this person them, even though the reference did not have them. I also pulled the face out a little bit more and made it wider towards the jaw. I was thinking about a picture of an actress or something that I saw in passing. I don't know who they are. I'm really not great at actors and actresses, but anyway, whenever I was drawing this, I ended up thinking about that person and I thought, you know, I really like their proportions, but it is skewed, of course. You can see me trying to somehow fix it because I know that something about it's off, but I didn't pick it up and, and uh, sit it on my lap so I could see. I wanted them to be a fish person. Maybe because they remind me of my character Mist. He's a siren. I think I drew him for Sketch Miss a few years ago. Now that was a fun challenge. Don't know if anyone else has ever done that before, but I did 25 days of Sketchmas one year, and it was so much fun, honestly. I just, I would make uh, an iPad video every single day leading up to Christmas. Edit it and everything and post it just every single day. And I was actually full coloring all of them, and it was to make myself faster at painting. And I actually saw a lot of improvement in my time because I put off doing flats and things a lot because I don't like doing it because <laughs> I'm a baby. And yeah, that actually improved my attitude towards it. I would just get it done. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Obviously, when you do things so many days in a row, you have a lot of hits and misses. So you just have to get used to this feeling of... I don't know, you, you try your best, but recognize that not every day is going to be great. And you have to just live with it. And then because I'd already... I'd already committed to posting them, every single one of them, even if they weren't great, just like with Inktober. It was, it's like kind of freeing in a way, it gives you a better attitude towards it. Or I guess it, when I say you, I just mean me, it gave me a better attitude towards it. Because I'm not someone who posts everything very often. I mean, years ago, I used to scan pretty much every single page I drew, I think weekly or monthly, I would scan all of them. I would edit them so they were clear, and I would post them on DeviantArt. And I had tons, because I drew all the time. Because that was back when I had committed to drawing a specific number of pages back to front every single day to improve. Because I really wanted to. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I must have been like 18, I think, because I, I believe that's when I got my first scanner. And I told myself that if I ever got a scanner, I would actually start posting on the internet because I never had before like, posting pictures of my drawings. So that was when I first started doing that. And then a few years later, I got an Instagram. I always do, thing when, do things when the hype is dead. <laughs> I kind of miss the highs of everything. Like I was not an active member of the internet or forums or whatever. I think is where a lot of people ended up finding uh, art friends and things back in the day. Uh, but I was way too shy to actually post something that important to me on the internet. <laughs> That's all right. This was actually a lady, but whenever I drew them, I was just thinking about a super creepy dude. That's just what it became. Super creepy dude. But I like the folds. I had to just kind of draw them from memory a little bit, but I really like the folds that were showing up. 
in the... I don't know what that thing is called. The head fabric. I think she was like a nun or something. Nope, I can't remember the name of it. That's okay. And then there was a couple times when I was recording that I realized that I went out of frame and missed an entire part of the drawing, even though I've been so good about it there for a while. But one problem was I put my camera a little bit closer to the paper and so it wasn't catching as much of it as usual. So that was on me. And then because the character I guess it wasn't necessarily a character. The mannequin thing that I was drawing from for this girl was like very soft and obviously it was unclothed and uh, didn't really have a face exactly. I wanted something that was a little bit um, like grungier, I guess. Or I guess a little grungy because it wasn't really grungy at all. But. That was what I was trying for here. I messed it up. I really, I just kept looking at it thinking it looked really stiff. And I think I should have just taken my red pencil and gone back over the top of it until I felt satisfied. But it's all right. I mean, it's just an exercise. Sometimes when that happens, uh, I just have to remind myself that I'm going to draw again. And I'll probably remember this pose. It's, like, decently simple, so I can just draw it again and see how I do and compare the two of them. And I do end up giving her a mechanical leg. Uh, maybe I was unconsciously trying to make sense of the stiffness in her stance. I don't know. It's a funny to draw people with like short shorts like that. I don't really. Maybe it's just because I was around one of my uh, sisters and she likes shorts. Which is really funny because I think she's one of the only one of my sisters that wears shorts. <laughs> that often. And then they had very small hands, if I remember correctly, in the original picture the mannequin did. So I was trying to give them these square fingers and some fingerless gloves. Maybe just because I am obsessed with fingerless gloves. And I thought a really big belt with like some ammo or something on it. And yeah, then I wanted knee pads just to like break up the shape of the legs. Because they're very bare. Still don't think I totally nailed that, but eh, it's alright. I'm still trying not to take too too long because I wanted to get this edited. Love to do something like my sister suggested though, like some sort of short watercolor kind of comic thing. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the season and then I will probably be able to get back to the color comic, which I re would really like. That would be amazing. I had to do a lot of uh, warming up again before then. <laughs> me measuring for that ear was just like, oh my gosh, watching me draw a diagonal line instead of a straight line is beautiful. Very eye-opening. <laughs> Sometimes I'm surprised like, oh wow, that actually turned out better than I thought. And then other times I'm like, how did you not realize you were that off?
I think the more I draw, the more I get used to the differences in angles. But uh, yeah, when I haven't been doing it for a while, I don't make up for the weird uh, thing with my vision. I have a double astigmatism, so things get weird. My glasses do help, but eh. I completely changed this guy. I think the only thing that's super similar from before is perhaps the nose shape and maybe the the jaw shape. But thereafter, yeah, no. <laughs> doesn't look like the original at all. Or doesn't to me anyway. Maybe hair length, yeah hair length as well. I almost wanted to turn one of these into a character I'd been drawing that has a like tentacle tattoo on their neck. Kind of traces over their collarbone. Even though every time I draw it I just think, man, I bet that would really suck to get right there over your uh, collarbone and your rib cage. I've known a couple people who got tattoos over the top of their feet and, uh, yeah. They didn't enjoy it. Let's just put it like that. They did not enjoy it. And this made me laugh when I was drawing the hair. And I was like, if there's a strap over the head, <laughs> then you end up with the hair looking like weird pigtails or something. And I thought that that was hilarious. This is probably the better pose of them. I liked this one a lot. It was a dude in a weird uh, bird mask thing and they're holding something. I think they were shirtless though. Pretty sure anyway. So I'm remembering their abdomen. But I really wanted to give them a vest. I would have liked to put a bunch of tactical stuff on it but I decided not to. So I'd already kind of fussed with a couple of these. And I'd drawn the legs a little too short as well. So I, whenever I was going back in, I knew I needed to fix it. And that arm's a little short too, but that's fine. As soon as I drew it, I kind of was aware of that because it was actually in perspective in the original. And my sketch didn't show that very well. You might hear some noise, by the way. And then I decided to draw a little tattoo on his arm. It's just some weird shapes. For fun. Actually, someone... I get asked constantly, okay, if I do tattoos. So people want me to draw tattoos all the time. And uh, that same thing happened at the market the other day. Even though the lady that asked, she was lovely. She was very nice. So when it comes to this one, I forgot to film the rest of it, but I'll show it here at the end. Well, that's the picture. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. Have a good day or night and bye.